Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Yes, yeah, Devo Blaster, look how clean that bunch of bitches. <laughs> Not for very long though, I already got it trashed. Thing was cleaned up further. Alright guys, I'm going through the first step in my arm making process and I'm going to show you guys how to do this to make a professional store bought looking arm. It's just going to be longer, all right? First step, got to make a hole with my hole saw. Not all the way through, just almost all the way through, okay? I already got one. I'm just going to load these up with holes and do them all like this. That way I ain't holding on to little pieces. So you got to think about that stuff. Those big old fat fingers don't hold little parts very well. All right? So, we've got to mark out another hole. Right there. Right there. So I already got, got a bunch of these going already. You know, they get hot cutting them. So I got them. After I'm done, I throw them down there in my bucket of water. See, them already got two holes in them each down there in the old bucket of water and grab another one. All right. Yep. First thing we do is we soak her up, baby. Now see, there's my stop. I got my stop set up right here. See, I can watch how close I'm getting and it stops. So it kind of takes the guesswork out. All of these are going to be exactly the same depth. That's why I kind of like to do them like this. Especially when I got a bunch of parts to make. Alright. I know this is going to work great. So I'm just going to make them all, baby. Get them all out of the way. Work till like 3, 4 in the morning. <laughs> 10 o'clock now. I might just make a couple videos. Y'all want to stay up late and make some parts? The thing to do is put a little pressure on it, ease up. Put a little pressure, ease up. Keep your RPMs up. Got to kind of just put a little pressure ease up, just a little pressure ease up without taking it out. You just got to keep the RPMs up and then get some dust out of there, some shavings. Ease up, pressure, ease up, pressure. Shavings out of there, lube her up. I'm going to sit here and watch how much farther I have to go. I still got a long way. <laughs> oh, these hole saws work. It's not super fast, but it works. So this one thing here, this thing, I've had this hole saw for years, man. I've abused it. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> we know how. Bob treats his tools. He puts that thing through the workout, man. Get some shavings out of there. Go back down. It gets so full, their teeth get full and it won't let you cut. Can you guys hear the pressure? I'm just kind of going run, run. Keeping the RPMs up on the drill and the 
you can, I can feel it moving down with every little bit of pressure I put on it. bucket of water. I'm going to go ahead and mark me another one. Alright guys, I'll be back and show you the next step in the process. <coughs> we'll see you back in the shop. <coughs>